What's up guys, this is Hypeman from the Ravencoin community and I was just going to make a quick video on how to use the Ravencoin core wallet. So if you go to ravencoin.org slash wallet and then we'll go down to the GitHub releases and if you're on Windows 64 we're going to use the 4321 so you'll just click that to download it and then we'll unzip it so you'll right click on it on your desktop or wherever you saved it to and extract it. It will extract it into Raven 4321 for you. Um, and then we're going to open this folder. Uh, once you have this folder open, we're going to double click on bin and then Raven QT. So this is how you get it open and you get it going. So this is going to open up the basically your access to the blockchain, your way to uh, have a wallet and have an encrypted wallet and be able to send and receive assets um, and also create assets. So I'll show you how to do all that. So it's going to load the block index. Um, it will have to sync with the blockchain. So if you've never done this, it's going to take two or three days uh, because you have to catch up with the four years that you've missed out on. So it does take a little bit of time. Um, but once you're caught up, then just like this, uh, because I've opened this wallet today, once it loads here, <clears throat> it's going to be a very quick s setup. So I'm already in. Uh, you're going to have a screen that at the bottom right corner you can say hide, uh, but at the bottom you're going to see that you're not synced uh, with the blockchain. I think you could probably still go to receive and request payment and get an address, um, but you're not going to see the payment come in until you're synced just so you know. Um, but basically this is how it looks. This is recent transactions. Um, I've sent some NFTs. I bought an NFT, so I spent Raven, and uh, I got a mining reward here. So this is also mining reward. So these are from mining. So basically to use this uh, as a wallet, you know, we'll hit receive, request payment, um, so if you want to name it, basically you'll hit label so we can say uh, for YouTube purposes. And then we'll hit uh, request payment. So you'll see it come up here at the bottom for YouTube purposes. I can click on it again, right click, uh, or just double click, and then copy address. And or take a picture, whatever you need to do to use your address uh, to send Raven. Obviously like I have 22 Raven so if I wanted to send it to that wallet it already knows but I'm, I'm putting it directly like into that specific address so this Raven coin wallet will have 10 Raven right so I'll hit send and then I'm going to type in my press passphrase. So with showing you this and how to send essentially myself 10 Raven to another wallet, because sometimes you just want to have something in there, something organized. Maybe you want to save it for, obviously my balance isn't going to change. It's the same. I just sent it to a different address, right? You can see it move. Um, but with that said, I'll go to wallet and go to encrypt wallet and make a password. Also, when you install this wallet for the first time, I'm pretty sure it's going to give you a seed word. Um, you're going to want to write that down. Don't take a picture of it, but save your seed word because all this is stored on the blockchain um, under these wallet addresses. It's not technically stored on the computer. So if something happens to your computer, you can put in your seed word and you can get back into your wallet. So it's a very important thing about any blockchain. They are on the blockchain. Um, so uh, they're on there forever too, which is why I love uh, Ravencoin. So these are the assets that I have, you know, some of the assets that I have. Um, if you click on one, it's going to open up the, cleared, the Cloudflare IPFS. Um, so this is where it's stored essentially. So it's kind of how they, they all are. This is a token. So it's just you know, it's just different. So different than an NFT in its own use case and uh, 
there's a lot of, you know, really cool ones. Um, Market Man is doing Ravencoin news, which is just really cool. So you can subscribe to that if you want to know more about Ravencoin. Um, also, I really like the Flappy Raven game. It's exactly like Flappy Bird. So this is just IPFS as well. I'll even play it for you. Alright, so, I mean, you get the point. You can do a lot on uh, the Ravencoin blockchain. So, um, sending assets, you can go to transfer assets. I'm going to go down here to the Jack Jomber token that we made. This is just an NFT of my dog. We have a lot of supply of this, so if I wanted to send it to that same address, um, Sorry, I was just making sure I was sending the right thing. So, if I wanted to send 100 to myself, I'm just going to send. Obviously, got to type in my password again. And then, when it clears, we're going to send it. So, the transaction fee was 0 0.006 Raven, which is, I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's a penny or less than a penny, or it's very, very low actual US dollars. You can send tons of assets. Like this 22 Raven would last so long, it's insane. So obviously I've received the assets that I sent myself, which is great. So uh, don't be afraid of something like scam coin. It's just a coin someone made and they just send it to different people um, to distribute the coin, really. So, uh, but to create an asset, you go to create assets, it does cost 500 Raven to make a main asset and it's burned forever. So, you know, if you wanted to do Hype Man Studios, yeah, you can't have spaces, but, right, you could, you could do it. And you could, you know, just make sure it's available, it's good. Uh, and then it's like, how many tokens do you want to make for your main asset? Like, if you ever wanted to make it a business uh, to distribute different things, whatever you wanted to have. So, um, sub assets could be like, if you're going to do a different line of, of NFTs and want to categorize it under there, you could do that. Unique asset would be, you know, your actual, uh, NFTs. So I created the main asset K9 NFT. Um, and if I wanted to basically do upload an NFT, We'll go here, I'll just go to my desktop and I'm just going to pick this picture of my mining rig off and I'm going to drag it here. Or I'll go up and just drop it here. We're not going to encrypt the file, so it's going to give us this hash and you see where it leads. So we're going to copy it if we can. Oh, it's right here. So it's right there. So you'll scroll down and you'll copy it. They make it super easy. I haven't done this in a while, so sorry I'm rusty. But uh, you'll go over to add IPFS and you're going to copy paste that hash. Sorry. So now I've created that asset right here. You burn the five raven because that's how much it costs. It shows you right there. But now we'll be able to go see it under the K9 NFT. So it'll just take a second to to load in essentially so but basically you can use ravencoin ipfs to pin your image um, some people will host their own ipfs server 
or whatever it is exactly, I'm assuming it's some sort of server. So here it is, K9 NFT, Hype Man Studios. If I click on it, so basically it's on the blockchain there. So to show you guys, you can go to Ravencoin Asset Explorer net, <laughs> and you can see that I just minted the asset and what it looks like. All right, so it's on essentially it's on the blockchain forever. You guys would be able to go and look and see this asset if you wanted to. Down here, once you've encrypted your wallet, it's going to show you. This is what we're showing the amounts of everything in, and this is that we're connected to the network and we're talking to other people in the network, basically. So, if you have any questions about how to use the wallet, how to create a main asset, sub asset, unique asset, please let me know. I personally don't have any history or use of using uh, restricted asset assets, so I can't touch on that personally, but uh, if anybody's out there looking for some people that do, I can certainly point you in the right direction.